another quote maybe to just uh, an idea to chew on is from um, Ralph Waldo Emerson in his essay on fate. And there's a, a part of it where he says that a man must thank his defects. And he goes on to say, because his defects pay him revenues on the other side. And I think that a lot of times we can become complacent when things are good. Like we've all done this. Everybody, including myself, we become a little complacent when things are good. And, and then all of a sudden something bad happens and it shakes us up a little bit. And in a lot of cases, at least from my experience, when I look back at the sort of the conditions that created a really positive outcome, a lot of times those conditions weren't really positive at all, right? So for instance, my drive to work hard and try to make a good living for myself and, and really learn some skills and do all this stuff and to have that drive, that drive came from the fact that I grew up dirt poor. And I didn't want to be dirt poor anymore, right? I, I grew up sleeping in a, a reclining chair in a one bedroom apartment with my mom and two sisters. And I had a bucket of toys and that was it. Like, you know, it was just, it wasn't an ideal experience. It wasn't terrible, you know, by, by United States standards, of course, I'm, I was poor. The rest of the world standards, I was doing all right. Yeah. You know, it's, it was not the rest of the world, but in some parts of the world, I was doing all right. But I didn't want that. And, you know, when I think about in jujitsu, a lot of times my biggest jumps in skill typically come when I get caught in something or when someone like basically brings this, this error in my game to my face and says, man, here, here you go. You got a defect in your game. You've got a, you've got a area of your game. That's bad. You need to fix this. And just like,